it is super bright right now because it's snowing. It's been snowing all day, pretty much most of yesterday, and I have nowhere that I have to be today, so I have no plan to leave my house even once, except to maybe take the garbage from in the house to the dumpster right outside. That's all I'm doing today. Other than I did do some like computer work. I had some editing stuff I had to do. It's about 12.30 right now, but I'm pretty much done with that stuff for the day. I wanted to make a full video about our home reno, and I think there's gonna be several parts to this. I should have done a better job of categorizing the videos that I've made in the past of this renovation because we're not starting at square one with this video. I originally thought maybe like I'll do one big video about this home right now and it unfortunately has taken us months. We're doing it all ourselves. There's a lot to do and the only time that we really have to do it is on the weekends. I guess I have like more time to do it but I don't know how to do a lot of this stuff. I don't know how to put flooring in. I don't know how to do trim. I can paint. I can organize. I can do that but I thought I would just film it today because I really need to organize some stuff. I've slowly been going through stuff in our living room, in our closets the past few days, just trying to get rid of stuff because having a home renovation, having our entire house look like a bomb went off for literally months has made me realize how much I hate clutter and we're getting so close to being done and when we get done i don't just want stuff to just go back to where it was i want it to be cleaned out i want everything to have a place i only want to keep stuff that we actually use that we actually need so every day for the last like week i've taken a few hours out of my day to go through closets go through stuff and just throw stuff away put stuff in donation piles put stuff in cell piles it's been a lot probably if you saw the difference from what i've done a few days ago to now you would think like you don't really see anything but that's how much shit we have to get rid of there's so much so i thought i'd just bring you guys along for the last little bit of it we still have our couch in the kitchen we still have our nursery dresser in the living room we've got a lot we've got a lot to do i was going through stuff yesterday and i found like um, gosh, so much stuff that I've kept that I do not need. But one thing that I had kept was my positive pregnancy tests. And I thought, oh, I'm going to save those for however long. I'm going to save them with my ultrasounds. Like, those are important to me. <laughs> I don't know. And then when I pulled them out and looked at them, the dye had just totally gone away. So it never, it didn't say pregnant anymore. It didn't have two lines anymore. They were just blank pregnancy tests. And I was like, I'm literally hanging on to this like pee stick that doesn't even say I'm pregnant. I don't want to attach my worth or or like too much sentimental value to stuff that just like does not matter. What matters is the baby in my belly and we will have plenty of things to always like be reminded of him so I don't need an old pregnancy test much less several of them. So. Threw those away along with a bunch of other stuff that I realized like I just do not need. Let me show you my <laughs> piles of donation selling garbage. I've done so good, so good about getting rid of clothes lately. If you know me, you'd be incredibly proud because I had a closet room that had all my clothes in a closet. I had two little dressers and I had two racks of clothes all stuffed full. I have gotten rid of enough stuff that i can fully get rid of the racks i got rid of two of the dressers i did put one dresser in its place but it's at least organized now and i organized my closet the best that i could i still have a ways to go but baby steps here so let me show you what we're working it with right now in this video these are a few tubs of clothes that oh and there's one other tub behind it that has stuff on top of it clothes that i need to I actually need to sort through these and decide which ones I'm donating, which ones I'm selling. Some of them are winter things, which I know a lot of places like are not taking winter stuff right now, even though that's what it looks like outside. They're not taking them yet because they obviously want to get a jump start on spring stuff and summer stuff. So might need to go through those at some point, but I've just kind of kept this like, you know, little thing in the middle of stuff we're getting rid of. That's donation. Some books I'm gonna either see if I can take to the library or donate, not really sure. All these old paintings that we've never hung up, we've just 
uh, had sitting in closets. We have these paintings that um, DJ and I made at like a painting class, and honestly, they're not they're not good. Okay, like why are we hanging on to this? I'm not hanging that up. So we're gonna get rid of it. Probably just gonna trash those because I don't think anyone's gonna want them. More trash there. We kept this little cubby just for the time being, just so we have some place to put our shoes. We are getting there. I need to paint this. If I can get enough stuff decluttered, I'm gonna try and paint that, maybe not today, but fairly soon. So yes, this is where our living room is at now. It's so much better, at least I can somewhat walk in here. We have three, that's not full, but full bags of hangers from all the clothes that we've gotten rid of. I've taken so many clothes to donation so far and we just like, we just keep on going. I need to figure out with that stuff, what I'm keeping, what I'm not, some stuff over there we need to go through. That's about it. And there's our couch in the kitchen. I cannot wait for that to be gone. of cleaning out or like organizing my house I found my speaker that I literally thought I had lost because I haven't found it for like three or four months so now that I have it I'm gonna play some music while I clean the kitchen and just do a little time-lapse Frazier is like the neediest dog ever and kind of drives me crazy sometimes when I'm home. But DJ bought him this little Kong toy and most toys he eats literally within like two seconds. He chewed on this all night last night. It didn't change anything. And then we got, or didn't like, didn't ruin it. We got this little peanut butter flavored like easy treat. It literally is like string cheese. Um, so we're going to put it in there. I don't know how much to do. I'm gonna call that good. Let's see how long he will stay occupied with that. I got a lot of stuff organized, even though it doesn't really look like it. But right now, I think what I'm gonna do is organize these little clothing bins that I have between like what season they are, if they're going to donation, if they're going to where to get Sam's, where I can sell them, Play-Dohs, whatever I decide to do with them. So I think I'm gonna do that real quick just so I can organize those a little bit. That way I can get them out of the living room and like in my car and take them to wherever they need to be instead of letting them take up room here. 
and then my other thing that I really want to get done today is painting some of the walls so I have one room that I have to fully paint I don't have to cut in um, at the ceiling or on the trim which is awesome I just have to roll it but I'm probably gonna have to roll it twice we had a few spots where we had to fill like holes because it was DJ's office and he had like different stuff hung up he had like a built-in desk that we ripped out so he filled all those holes and textured them and everything but i just need to go through and like sand them one more time and then uh probably clean the walls a little bit and then paint them so i hopefully i can get that done today that's kind of something that like we have to get done before we can move other stuff from the living room into that room so i kind of been dreading doing that but i really just need to get it done so I'm going to start organizing these, and we'll see how long this takes me. got all those bins sorted and put in my car so I'm gonna try and make myself take like one bin a day either starting today or starting tomorrow if that's allowed I know you can only take at least one bin a day but I really just need to make sure I get them out of my car because otherwise I have a bad habit of leaving Hold on. <laughs> get him. there's nothing in there he like bats his little ball underneath the door and then just bangs on that all night long. But anyways, I have a really bad habit of um, having like stuff that I want to get rid of or donation or whatever and then I leave it in my car for so long and it's just irritating and it's just like moving the clutter. It's not getting rid of it. So I'm going to make sure I actually get rid of it. Now, for a part that I'm not very excited for, I need to sand the walls in the nursery and then wash them quick and then paint this room there's actually a lot of stuff in the way so i might have to move some of this stuff to the living room i didn't really think about this at the very least i'm going to sand today even if i don't get to painting so let me show you what i mean by that we had um holes in our walls like some of these were here before we got here and they just like did not cover them very well so anyways we just filled and covered the holes back up i just need to sand some of this off because it's um, it's just like a little bit more textured than the wall. And that is where we had like a built-in desk. So really need to sand that whole area. And then um, I'm gonna clean the walls too. It's pretty dirty. So I'm just gonna clean the walls and then put a fresh coat of paint in here. And I'm really not excited for it at all. Also have a couple spots in other rooms that I need to sand. So like in here. We had a couple holes and then I think down, yeah, there's like a little spot down there too. I need to do those all at the very, I will at least paint these because we haven't been able to put our dresser back because there's that spot against the wall. So I'll make sure I paint those today. I also, I painted the trim the other day. I don't think I got, did I get any video of that? I got kind of messy with it on some areas because I had to paint like the end of the trim where we cut. And so it was like super hard to do that without getting paint on the wall. But I was like, it's okay. I have to paint different parts of the wall anyway. So I'll come back through and like do more, you know, a perfect line with a brush. So yeah, in this room and the other room, I have some wall stuff that I just have to touch up. The reason that I wanted to paint all of it together is because I just wanted to get the paint out one time, paint it all, and then just like be done with it. But I can almost guarantee that I'm going to find stuff that I need to like touch up later on. So not a huge deal, but yeah, we'll kind of see how much we get done. First things first, let's sand these walls.
like I didn't even do that much for home reno stuff but it just wore me out i really hate <laughs> that kind of stuff so much but it is like almost four so it's kind of like an awkward time because we have like leftovers to have for dinner so i don't really have to make anything for dinner i picked the house up and there's things i could like clean but again our house is just like kind of all around disorganized and so it's like i can only really clean so much so i don't know oh you know what the one thing that I need to do today that I have been avoiding for the last week is working out. I so miss working out. No, I don't miss working out. I miss the feeling of wanting to work out because I used to love working out and now I just haven't done it for a while or I haven't done it consistently for a while and it's so hard to get back into it, especially when it's like an at-home workout. If it was nice outside, I'd go for a nice long walk or I would drive to the gym but it's so cold i literally don't want to leave my house it's like negative five and we don't have like a great place to even do a workout at home but i think what i'm maybe gonna do is just like put my yoga mat out in our bedroom and just like do either like a little prenatal pilates class or prenatal yoga class or like a short little weightlifting class just like 20 30 minutes just so i can like get myself into the habit of working out again because even though i haven't been working out i have been eating not great i've been having ice cream like almost every single day which i'm like never i never really pay attention to what i eat because i'm like oh well, i work out like i'm good i whatever but yeah i need to watch what i'm doing and i have my glucose test in like three weeks so i definitely need to be getting more exercise and not eating as much fat and carbs so I just need to get the motivation to make myself work out. Caramel latte. No, it's not caramel. It's salted. Whole milk? Whole milk. We don't uh, mess around with the... Uh, huh? A half cup. Like, you don't know that. Okay, we're not... <laughs> no. About a half cup. Okay, okay, that was impressive. <laughs> Did you actually know that? Yeah. Two, two teaspoons of salted caramel syrup. You know Boom. that's just a, isn't that just a half? Oh no, that is a teaspoon. And then I also like to change my foam color up just a tad, but add a little bit of caramel. Oh, I did not know this point. I didn't know that. And then we're done for, and I usually wipe the spoon off, my favorite little shit off there. Mm. <laughs> Give it a little track. Good. I swear whenever you make coffees, they're way louder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is that your design? <laughs> you don't put any caramel on top? Nope, don't. Nope. Okay. Try it out. Salt caramel latte. You have raise your hair on you. Yeah. Might have to delete that. Curtains hung, need to steam them. 
Connie. You're not going out there. We still have all of this to move. Got a little tropical smoothie. They also gave me an extra little one because they had extra. This is literally the perfect size. Do you think you can just order a kid's one like this? Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Probably not in the right flavor, so. Let me try yours. which I have not been able to do in literally months. But I wanted to finish out this first little home reno vlog. I don't think I talked a lot during it, um, but we did accomplish quite a bit. We got a lot of stuff moved out of the living room, got our couch put back in here. I painted the nursery yesterday, so we just need to put trim up and move some furniture into there. So we're definitely getting there, but we did have a little setback yesterday and honestly it's not very little um i don't think i mentioned this in any of the vlogs but we had noticed for the last couple weeks that when we walk into our house we like smell something not great and the smell goes away pretty fast or you become totally nose blind to it we cannot figure out what the smell was and we were smelling it when our living room was filled with so much furniture so much clutter so I didn't know if it was just like a musty smell. I thought, you know, eventually we can put all this furniture away or all this stuff away. We'll be able to go through everything, clean the living room, and the smell will go away. Um, but as we cleaned the living room out, we didn't find anything. I thought maybe we'd find like a piece of rotten fruit or maybe our cat had like killed a mouse or something. Like just a not good smell. But yeah, we did not find anything. So there were days when like it wouldn't smell as bad and we'd think like, oh yeah, we got rid of it. We don't know what it was. But when I was painting yesterday, I was smelling it in the nursery. And I was like, this is really weird because, you know, there hasn't been anything in this room. You know, the cat hasn't been in here. Like, what is the smell? And DJ decided to go into the crawl space and see if there was possibly like a dead animal down there. There was not. We found something worse. We think that one of our pipes either burst or got backed up and our entire crawl space is filled with sewage. Our own human shit. <laughs> and toilet paper and everything that we've ran in the washer every time we've taken a shower. It's basically just gone into the crawl space and created a nice little sewage sludge so that was not a fun thing to find bright side we at least know where the smell is coming from and we can get it gone and our house will smell good again but we were really shocked by it because it didn't smell like poop like we don't know what the smell was it just did not smell good so we at least know what it is but it's going to be pretty expensive to deal with this mess and it's probably our own fault because we should have gotten our um, pipes cleaned. Like we should probably be doing that yearly and we have not done that. I don't even think once since we, since we moved into our house. Maybe we did when we very first moved in, but yeah, we haven't done it as much as we should have. So in probably about 15 minutes, we do have a plumber coming to unclog the pipe, make sure it is just like a clogged pipe, not a burst pipe. So I guess we will figure that out as we go. And then we have somebody coming today to pump all the sewage out. And then we actually have to hire a different company to come and sanitize it, um, lay like either new dirt or plastic or whatever they have to do down there. And when we got an estimate from one of the guys to do just that last portion of it, he said it was probably gonna be about $5,000 or more because you're dealing with like, human feces so it's a total like biohazard gross so yeah we're just taking it uh one step at a time we are really hoping that it doesn't end up costing us that much money it really feels like it's just kind of been one thing after another and um in hindsight we're you know we're very lucky that we were even able to like do this remodel and everything but 
we did not like anticipate an expense like that so um kind of one of the downsides of owning your own home but it's just something that we're gonna learn from and from here on out we will get our pipes cleaned at least once a year and here's a psa to you to do that if you haven't just do it it's way cheaper than uh what we're about to do and way less messy so kind of disgusting but that's what we found and um i will just keep you guys updated i don't think i'm going to uh actually vlog what happens with this whole thing but i will let you guys know when it's all cleaned up and how much it ended up costing us so thanks for watching this home reno i think in the next one um i'll give you a little update on this and then i do want to go like decor shopping at target we just want to like add a few different things i want a new like comforter set just like little things here and there that we want to add i need to buy a couple rugs so that's kind of like the fun part of a home remodel i think and we do still have a lot of like finishing touches to do as far as trim and um you know moving furniture around all that kind of stuff so yeah i'll just kind of bring you guys along as we do all of that thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye.